DCC is so much easier. Yeah, right. Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my trap work video. In the first part I showed you how I made my duck lift and today I'm going to show you how I laid my track. I have two loops completed with a bunch of turnouts and crossovers so let's get started. Before I did anything track related I sanded my cork roll bed, especially where the cork ends meet. This will ensure that my track lays flat. Next I placed my first number 8 crossover on the duck lift. The crossover is just two number 8 switches from Pico. I understand that this is causing a lot of stress and anxiety with other modelers, but it's the only straight and level area I have room for this. I might skip installing switch machines, or at least hold off for a while. Once I was happy with the location, I pinned them down so that they could serve as my anchored starting point. I then soldered all my Pico Code 83 flex track together. If you want to see more detailed soldering videos of mine, Check out A Journey into DCC, Chapter 6, or my quick video clip in Rail Talk Canada. Remind me and I'll put the links down below in the description. The next tricky part was placing the turnouts for the yard, the other number 8 crossover, and a turnout leading into a future industry. I had to make sure there was no switch overlap. I had to make sure that my yard has enough room for maximum amount of cars, so I want my turnout as close to the crossover as possible without interfering with it. And lastly, I had to make sure that I could mount a switch machine below for each turnout. I might not do this until further down the road, but best I'd be prepared for it now. So like I said, I started with the two number eights. This is the crossover here on the lift out. And I have two tracks, the outer and the inner, all complete. Now let's give you a brief overview as I go around. So we pass the lift out, and this is going to be where the cyanamid plant will be. It's going to be quite small, but this is where all the uh, tank cars will be, and the tank trucks, and the big oil tanks and such. And this is the turnout that will go into the plant, the industry. And we keep going, and the inner one will come in. While the outer one goes up the grade, and this is going to be um, somewhat prototypical to my parents' backyard. So the Via passenger will come along here. That's why it's slightly raised, and there'll be just some common houses here. Well, this track will just be for freight and the odd passenger train, just for fun. So we come around. And the two tracks join up again here, again, side by side. Another number eight crossover. And this is the turnout for the yard. We're hoping to have three tracks and an engine house for two or three engines. Now the inner track, there's a turnout here for another industry, which is to be determined. I have all the space here. If you have any ideas for an industry, that takes boxcars and or hoppers and doesn't require too much real estate, let me know in the comments down below. So the yard will be where all this stuff is here. All that's going to be the yard. Again, three tracks and some locomotive storage. And we just come around here again. And this is, I think, just going to be generic scenery. Maybe some small hills, maybe water. But uh, again, I kind of have industry here, but I don't know. Again, to be determined. And then we just come back to the, the lift out. Okay, so let's see if this track actually works with a 9-volt battery. And uh, if it does, I'll be happy. 
Okay, I'm using my G.I. Joe little switcher here. I did bring it to the shop and it's apparently good to go. I got my battery. I'll just put it on the track and it should work. Okay. I'll get on the battery here. And away we go. Why is there no power in these batteries? Okay, this is a fresh new battery. Hey. There we go. Well, there you have it. Two loops are down and everything seems to work okay. The most exciting part for me is that now, officially, I am further along on this layout than I was on my module layout back at the old house. I'm also excited that my G.I. Joe train works. My next step will be to install some feeder wires and a bus line so that I can run my DCC locomotives. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, cake tear. Look at that, I told you it would dry clear, perfect.